What's up guys and gals, welcome back to Bimington, where we are just hanging out waiting for our new little suburb to develop so that we can buy more land. In the previous episode, we had bought this little chunk of land, which was a little bit in error, but you know what, I decided to roll with it. I kind of wanted both of these parcels of land at the exact same time so that I could simultaneously develop and do whatever I wanted. Unfortunately, the universe seems to think otherwise. It's just, it's a very, very hard hill to climb, getting to do whatever you want in life. That's a tough one. It's a very, very tough one. There's a lot of people in the way. Before this grows any further, I was thinking about it, and I need to put in services to make sure, like, all the houses and stuff don't burn down. And so there is our first fire department. Are these... Oh, that's because it's on a one-way street, huh? That's a terrible idea. Okay, so let me relocate you over to here so that your possibility of getting where you need to go is better. Then on this side, we'll do a little bit of overkill. Like, not a lot of overkill. I'm not really in the mood for thrash metal right now. But we'll do a little bit of overkill. We probably only need one police station. That police station can be aligned on this side of town, I think. Without too many problems. Maybe put it... Yeah, that seems good. We'll put it right over there. That'll work. I haven't put in a bus station as of right now. It might be a decent plan. It might be. It's a little bit noisy, though. We're not low on cash. We have nothing to be concerned about right there. But what I will also say is that we're going to have trash disposal needs. So we'll put in a couple of incinerators on this side of town since we're going to be polluting and, like, destroying the environment anyways. We might as well go all in it. Push those chips towards the center and hope that you don't, like, fall down a chasm or something once you irritate the earth with our shenanigans. So then... We're looking good on schooling and everything else. Our school availability, actually, we only have 10% uneducated right now. A 10% non-graduation rate, I think, is pretty good. I don't know. I'd have to look it up. Raymond Thompson says he's excited about the prospects of all this recycling. Well, I'm glad that you're excited by the prospects of recycling because, frankly, that's 90% of the content that I do. <laughs> but anyway, let's continue forward here. What a great city. I would think I'm dreaming if I didn't know otherwise, and how do you know? Maybe we're all in the Matrix right now. You have no way of knowing. How would you figure that out? There's a, there's a, I read a paper one time about the philosophical discussion as to whether this is all just like a construct or real. And it was like one of those things that was way, 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 it's not even like over your head because what they're talking about is so theoretical and so unprovable that really by the time you finish it, you're just like, okay, I don't see how this matters, but it's amazing you managed to derive funding for this sort of thing. Somebody pays you to do this? Somebody pays you to sit at your desk and write this, huh? Hey, more power to you. If you get to do what you enjoy, grasp onto it and hold as aggressively as possible. It looks like we are going to have some needs over on this side. There is a high demand. What is this right here? Low demand for residential. A medium demand for... That's medium, huh? That's medium. Okay, well, I mean, there's constantly people who need jobs, so... I'm fine with supplying them if people want to join in and apply for them. There it is. So we'll go over here, go like a few more office buildings on this side. Sure. That seems all right. And then maybe we'll go a little bit of high density housing right here just to spruce things up slightly. Just to spruce things up a little bit. I don't want to get too aggressive though with our tree references. So you remember what I was talking about. You start talking about tree references too much. You get the potheads a little bit too happy, a little bit too excited about the prospects of growing the city. And then after that, it's just like dispensaries on every corner. It turns into the place that I went to college at a dispensary. Like seriously, I probably every block and a half. I would figure there was there was a lot of them. Then again, as you get further out towards like Oaksterdam and stuff like that too, I don't know. It's turning into like a states' right. So for people in Europe, essentially the way that it works is that as illicit substances become legalized in the states here, the federal government does not recognize the legitimacy the legitimacy of the states to determine what is legal and what's not legal. And so ultimately, nobody has jurisdiction. It's very odd. So like when dispensaries open here. If you don't know what a dispensary is, it's just a place that you can go to get scheduled drugs, basically, like legally, if you have a card that says, like, you have an illness that requires it. And so the way that it works is ultimately there's dispensaries all over the place, and every now and again the feds come through and they'll shut them down from the federal government, and the state government does nothing to stop them because the federal government can cause them all kinds of problems if they do. So it's, it's one of those weird things where it's like states' rights versus the rights of the federal government or something. I, I'm not really too sure. I'm not educated on it, but it happens all the time around here. But back to the point, there were a lot of dispensaries around the place that I went to college. There's obviously an industry right there, although I don't know anybody that actually bought from dispensaries because they're always overpriced. They're way, way, way overpriced. Like, absurdly overpriced. You'd be like, what? 
I remember somebody brought me a price sheet from one of them one time, and I was just like, are you serious right now? I'm not paying that amount. Forget that noise. Forget that noise. That's so ridiculously overpriced, but I guess they gotta make a living or something. They're treating it like retail, I suppose, and retail always has a huge amount of markup. It's just like part of the system, I suppose. On this side, we have a big, big boom in both industrial needs. We don't have housing needs, though, strangely enough. So maybe I'll continue... Let's just get this going right here. I don't know what I'm going to do with roads after this, but let's take care of all of our business and office needs for right now. We'll also put in a little bit of the industrial on that side. It's going to make this whole area look nasty and zergy, but there's nothing you can do about it. The like, overlord reporting, getting all excited. Do overlords report? I feel like they mostly just like float around, and everybody just tries their best to ignore them. You there, citizen Anthony Kane. What task is occupying your mind? Look back to work, me lord. Please don't employ the death sacks. Growing death sacks now. Deploying Kenny G. Like, no, not the death sacks. See, you see where that joke was going right there. You see where it was more of... I don't know if it was just like playing with homonyms. That's most of what I do around here. It's it's a little bit... Im okay, so we're a capital city with 32,000 people. Really? A cargo harbor and a normal harbor. The harbor provides outside connection for passengers to the city by sea. Tourists will arrive and leave. Okay. Whereas right there, ship out goods and bring in materials for your industry and power plants. You put it on a seaside location where a harbor route is available. Alright, well I know nothing about no routes right now, but we'll figure it out in a little bit. I'm not going to concern myself too heavily with the prospects of it all. I think we should probably run another pipe down here too. Just to make sure that they've all got water. People in this town tend to get really, really grumpy. Strangely enough, water and sewage is what sets them off. Everything else they're oddly okay with, but the second that they can't, like, flush their dew, they're done. They no longer want to play anymore. They're out. The Kaputski, they finished. I'll probably just continue with commercial up and in here. That might be a bit too much, but I'm trying to future-proof, so I don't need to deal with it anymore. Then we'll go high-density housing in here. Just a little bit. Just a little bit, and then we'll go low density up to that point right there. Once that's been taken care of, we'll office building the rest of this on out. And there it is. We've actually actively completed the next part of our journey. It should be good, I think. I mean, this requires educated citizens. However, we have more than enough education going around, as I would assume. It might be a problem. See, I read the other day that instead of saying I just assumed... You should say, it was my understanding that. That was up on Reddit. Somebody posted that as a life hack. And I was like, you know, that's a pretty, it's a pretty under, I guess that would be a better way. It sounds a lot more flowery. And honestly, people, when they hear the word assume, they tend to get all revved up. They just be like, you assumed what, sir? Now, this doesn't matter for the school system over on this side, I don't think, because we don't have anything going on over there anyways. These people should all be good, so our education should flow around. It's going to take a while for it to get there, though. So let's hang out for a minute, and we'll see how this develops out. This was not that profitable of a juncture for us, actually. We're losing money right now, weirdly. And why is that? We're gaining citizens, but we're losing cash output. We would have to figure out why that is. It could be due to the fact that our legislation is actively being employed for, like, our recycling and whatnot to all of these people. But we are losing about $20 per week off of our surplus. Oh, nope, there it is. There's the tipping scales. My guess is that as people are working in, the game is recalculating all of the policies that we've adopted for the city, and that causes there to be a drop-off every time somebody moves in until you hit that perfect equilibrium point where finally they just sort of, like, jump off and you're all good to go. Let's continue with the water system since we don't really have much else to occupy ourselves with for right now. Just run that over to there. Making it perfectly straight is not that big of a deal right now. That seems to be offset slightly, though. There it is. And so now we are nice and loverly. The power grid should be hitting everything over here. We actually need more workers for these places, and it requires uneducated workers. So I'm thinking in order to keep these industry buildings taken care of, we may... Is that all of them? Are they all having that problem, or only some of them having that problem? It looks like they're slowly filling in. It kind of depends, though. I may be supplying too much education. We may be giving out too much of the book smarts to our people to the point where they might not be able to actually effectively occupy these zones. However, we've only got a little bit of land space left. I suppose I'll just, like, low-density housing, all of this, and they can just live by the highway? I don't know. 
Seems okay to me. We might have health issues. It might also be a good idea to put a hospital in somewhere. I hadn't considered that. That was the one service that I think we're missing. The one service that I think we're missing. So, for our hospitals and medical clinics, we're looking good in the city. We do, however, need funeral homes. I shall consider placing one right there. And then we also need a hospital. Which seems as though it would probably be best suited... I don't know, maybe a bigger one then? Seems as though it would be best suited to an area like that right there. And that should help us keep everybody nice and squared away with regards to their personal health. If you don't bathe them, they're not going to do it. So you just kind of like got to get in there and scrub a dub dub. Get up all in the crevices and get all that nasty, just muddy substance out. You ever seen that happens like when you're out? I, I try to bird bath when I go out on surveys because I'm a geologist. And when you go out, sometimes you don't get to bathe for two and three weeks at a time. Different people handle it different ways. I usually bring biodegradable. It's nice that we live in a time period where we have the technology to deal with this, but I usually bring biodegradable wipes. I still hike them in and hike them out. I don't just, like, dump them in the ground or whatever. And I usually just, like, sponge bath, essentially, while I'm out there. But some people talc bath. Some people sponge bath. You can smoke bath, which is actually really, really healthy. If you can find, like, manzanita trees, there's a couple different trees you can burn that provide, like, a very healthy smoke that kills bacteria. And if you can wave that into your armpits and just kind of get nude next to a fire. I know it sounds risky with all the dangly bits and whatnot. I mean, guys and gals, the human body, lots of dangly bits. Lots and lots of dangly bits. It seems risky near fire, I know. But simultaneously, before I go much further with that thought, you can't smoke bath and there is like an herbal solution to all these problems. But I tend to go out and just like moist towelette myself. Just sort of like, and when I go to bathrooms too, if I end up like at a random... I don't know, like tourist trap, like a random diner or whatever. Typically, I'll go in the bathroom and I'll bird bath for a little bit. Try and make myself feel a little bit better. I don't know. There's something about morale and keeping yourself clean. I don't have to do it, but I prefer to. It's a good plan. It's a decent idea. We're actually... Wow, we lost surplus hand over fist right there, although we almost have a million dollars. And it seems to be increasing by quite a lot. That's probably because these buildings are leveling up and becoming less of a burden on our society. That'd be my first assumption anyways. Oh no, we're headed back down again. I wonder what's causing that. Maybe I should investigate my budgetary allotments. So the bus system. The trash system, we might be able to lower the budget right there for a little bit. The school system, we can leave the budget up. The park system, probably take like a 5% budget cut right there. It won't make us popular. But then again, we don't have elections around here, so who gives a shit? It doesn't matter. We don't have elections. What are you talking about? That's going to be my next piece of land, the next parcel that I'm going to purchase. I haven't named this area down here. I'm going to save this little sort of California-shaped area, I guess, for another inner city area, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's going to be a little bit odd because with this highway right here, what we would need to do is we need some way for this to cross over and get into here, and we just don't have the space to allow for it. So we might not be able to do it. I may have built a little too tightly in here. I may have to wipe out this little row of buildings to get this to work. And then once this flips around, I don't know. Let me see if I can hop the freeway right here. We may or may not be able to. So let's say that I go up to there. Let's say that we raise the altitude slightly. Can I make the hop? Can we? Oh, we can. What do you know? Well, what do you know? Well, fun stuff to think about, I suppose. Then, now that that's already been hopped, you pick up the skill. That one looks a lot better than some of my earlier attempts. Like, the whole area seems a little bit like this was one of my first attempts right here. Like, look how zonked out and wacky that that looks. And this is my most recent attempt. I like hand drawing them, though. I don't know why, but I like hand doing all this. It makes me happy. What's up with this weird zoning limitation out here? Like, just this random grid off the grid, which is weirdly ironic. It works, but it's strangely ironic. On this side, which way does traffic flow right here? Traffic flows that way. So all we would need at that point... Oh, I did that completely wrong. For some reason, I thought that, that was flowing that way. So both of these look really, really bad right now. I should probably fix these. I should probably fix these. That probably drove somebody crazy in the last episode. Somebody's like losing their mind right now. I can virtually promise you. I can also physically promise you. I don't even need the virtual realm in order to make that assurance. There, that'll look a little bit better. 
And then this thing, my god. Okay, so let's figure out, I need to fix this real fast. I can't, I can't look at that. I can't look at that. And so we'll go over on this side. We already have one getting off right there. And so if this was going that way, that's going that way too, isn't it? Ugh, these are all facing the wrong direction and being serious traffic hazards. Sorry, everybody. Gotta bulldoze your homes. It was necessary. And so now that the off-ramps actually work the way that they're supposed to, I need to fix this one up over here, too. So I'll try and swoop it. If I'm really, really lucky, what we can manage... This traffic's going this way, huh? Okay. If we're really, really lucky, what we can pull off right here... Is something like that right there. Oh, I gotta go out to here. Give myself a little bit more spotchy. There, and that'll work for right now. And it looks a little bit better than what we had previously. It's gonna cause traffic problems over on this side, I think, because you've got like a double intersection right there. Probably could have connected these other locations. If it starts to bog down, what I'll do is I'll move this maybe just like into here somewhere. We've got wasted space right there that I could make use of, but eh, we can work on that later. I'm not too concerned. Look, apparently our foot has a stinky toe. A very, very stinky toe. It's a typical problem. It happens to a lot of people. There's no need to be embarrassed. Sometimes you got a stinky toe. What are you going to do about it? Sometimes you got a stinky toe. That's life. So on this side, the next thing that I'd like to accomplish... Let me take this right here. Does it need to go out a little further? I bet it needs to go out a little bit further. Will that not work no matter what I do? Here, I need straight roads. Can you stop doing that, please? Thank you. I appreciate it. All right, so on this side, we got that right there. Sure, why not? Let's just make this as horrific as possible. How about that? Let's just make this whole thing nasty. And so now that we've got that right there, that's going to be the next entrance to our little cityscape. There's another connection right there. Since those are going that way... And actually, since these are both going the same way... Technically... We could have these connect right here, which would be sort of interesting. Something like that right there. Ooh. It's a little nasty, but I bet it'll work for right now. See, that's where... That's the NorCal split right there. That's it right there. If you're past the bend, eh, you're SoCal, sorry. That's the way that it works. You gotta be kind of like in this region somewhere. And see, if you want to know where I am, I'm sort of like over meow. And then like people up in Humboldt are like up meow. Or like near, I don't know, there's like Madison and like all kinds of other shit up here next to the Oregon border. I don't know, nobody goes up there. It's fine. Let's see here. We've got that road taken care of. I don't know if I actually want to do this right here. It might be a bad plan. It may not work out for me in the way that I'm thinking it's going to work out. So instead, what I could do is the same thing we've been doing the entire game. And so now, we can get this going down here. Yeah, let's do it. Curvy roads deploy. Hella curvy roads. Yeah. In keeping with that NorCal flavor. How curvy are roads? Hella curly. And will the power grid... So let's say that I make, how's the power grid looking right now? Like how far out does that go? So we can get rid of, I need to slow the game down slightly as well. Otherwise our needs are going to get way, way ahead of us. So in order for this to work, what I would prefer anyways is we might be able to move the power line slightly over to here and make it run the gap. Yeah, that power line's gonna have to move. It's not gonna have a choice. Oh, nope. I wish there was an undo. Have I ever said how much I wish there was like a control Z for this game? Because I wish that there was a control Z would be absolutely fantastical. Let's see here. We'll go. Oh, yeah. Alright, so bulldozing, shall we? Sorry, power line. You gotta go. You gotta go, and there's nothing I can do about it right now. 
And then we're going to try and do this a little bit more efficiently this time now that the grid is in play. Will that work right there? Does it touch? There. Now it touches. So we've got the electrical grid rerouted, so that should work a little bit better. Our people just have to deal with the fact that they didn't have electricity for like a week. On this side... Create a little turnpike. Yup. And then carry it back up and around and in. Hell yeah. Oh, this is gonna rule. So excited right now. Land development. Who knew that it could be exciting? There it is. We need to curve around this way if we want to make this happen. Captain, I'm going to assign you the rank of captain because I feel like you would enjoy it. How about that, viewer? You want to be a captain? Congratulations. You're a captain. You're a captain. A captain in the nerd castle. I mean, that means we're going to have a lot of captains. Like, a severe overstock of captains, possibly, but... The plan continues. It no longer... I, it looks a little swoopy right now. It looks a little bit swoopy, but I think I can deal with it. And so there's our thick road. We're going to want something that maybe goes through the center of all this and just sort of, like, makes it function properly. Or at least semi-properly. I mean, you can slurp out of the soup bowl or whatever you want. You don't have to be that proper, but semi-properly. And so right there, we'll fill that in. This land can still be free land. Be free. In fact, here, you know what? Because I like you... Because I like you, enjoy yourself. That's not a big park. I want a, a big-ass park. Like, a huge... There it is. That's the park that says, I love my citizens right there. That's the park. And see, these people benefit from it now. These folk. We should probably come up with parks or something up in here. There is a horrible, horrible lack of greenery inside the city, but they'll probably just deal with it for a while. Now that we've got that done, let's go back to road mode. And while we're getting these roads hoed... Hmm. Well. My plan now would involve the slight application of four lane roads over to this side. Maybe. I mean, we're wasting a lot of space right now, but hell. If we're not being wasteful, we're not being the government, are we? So there we go. Allow people to get through right there. This should all look really kind of cool by the time we get it done. I hope anyways. Coolness is no longer my forte. Once you're past the age of like 25, there's diminishing returns on coolness. So keep that in mind, kids. Eventually, it's not even worth the effort anymore. You can try. You can make... You can make attempts at being cool once you get past a certain age, but I don't think it works that well anymore. You can try really, really hard. For right now, I'm going to finish off distributing roads around here. So my name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here at the Nerd Castle for the next episode of City Skylines. I look forward to seeing you all in future episodes. Take care out there, everybody. And as always, hi do. It's been fun.